Hello ladies and gentlemen. I'm uh, going to do another cooking video today. I don't even really know what you call this, but I'm going to call it a Parmesan sh shrimp that I love to make when I was in the truck. I used to cook this all the time. Uh, let me show you some ingredients here. I've got extra long grain rice. I've got my water boiling back here about two and a half cups with a little bit of butter in it. I've got me about a cup and a quarter of long grain white rice. I'm going to get it going. My water's already boiling. I'm going to pour that in there. I'm going to stir it up a little bit with my butter spoon. When I bring that back to a bowl, I'm just going to turn it off. That'll soak that uh, water right up in that long grain rice and she'll be good to go. Since this is a garlic dish, I am going to throw a little bit of garlic in there. This is not, it's a white rice, but it's got garlic flavoring in it. In my skillet here, I'm going to turn this on about medium high. Once we get her lit, put her on seven or eight, and I'm going to put me some uh, butter in my skillet. And all we're going to do, about two or three tablespoons. I'm not using butter, butter, it's... I can't believe it's not butter. I like the flavor of it better than I do regular butter. It melts down. It's real good to cook with. Once we get this going, I have uh, a pound of shrimp. A friend of mine told me to go ahead and thaw them out this time so they, that way they cook quicker. they are still got the scales on the outside, but uh, that's part of the fun of breaking them off, taking the skins off. We're going to uh, saute these shrimps up in butter, Parmesan cheese, which I got the generics. And I got a few, I got this off a friend of mine, old Bob. He, uh, Parmesan bread, breading dip. It's got a little bit of Parmesan in it, a few different flavors. Uh, if you want to, you can add a little bit of uh, oregano or parsley or something like that. It's just kind of a little spicy, little breading. I'm going to put that in with the shrimp. We're going to saute these up. It'll be real quick and simple. My stuff is already boiling back there, so we're going to turn off the rear and just put that back on. Let that... Uh, rice get going real good got the butter in there we go put these shrimp right off top in there when you do it simple you don't have to worry about much all we're going to do since the shrimp are completely raw we're going to cook them till they get that real pinkish white color which won't take too long and uh, as soon as they get a little closer i'll get back to you Good thing about it guys, shrimp don't take that long to cook. Maybe five minutes, I got my butter in there. I did have to add a little bit more uh, garlic powder. It lowers your cholesterol, it lowers your blood pressure, and it keeps mosquitoes and good looking women away. I'm going to put a lot of it in there. I love my garlic. I'm going to put a good teaspoon in there. Sounds like a lot, but do it to your taste. This breading in here, if I can get it open, it's kind of a uh, powdery substance with a, uh, different seasonings in it. I'm going to put that right over there. This is more or less a uh, shrimp scampi. I'm going to go ahead and turn that fire off because those shrimp are done. We do not want to overcook them. Don't take much to do that. And here comes the fun part. Uh, I've got McCormick chili powder. I'm not going to add much. I just want a little bit of fire. Maybe, oh, I don't know, quarter teaspoon. Let me show you how much I put on there. Not very much. We're going to stir this back up again. 
and all you're doing is just marinating the flavors now this dish is done what I'm gonna do is put this right on top of my white rice when it does get done and uh, as soon as my white rice is done I'll get back to you it won't be very long at all I'm 15 minute meal here be right back okay guys we're back I got my uh, shrimp going here, got all my butter sauteed in. We'll bring her back up to a little bit of a fry there. It won't take but a couple seconds. Want we'll to make sure she's good and hot. And uh, we're going to put the Parmesan cheese on top. Of course I did not open it. But it won't take but a second here. this up with the Parmesan cheese. I like putting it right on top. Probably about three or four tablespoons. You got your garlic, you got your chili, shrimp, butter, Parmesan. Stir that up just a little bit to give her a flavor. We'll take our rice. We're gonna put it right on top. We got white rice here. I love my rice. Plain white rice with a little bit of garlic on it. That's all we're going to do. We're going to take our shrimp. We're going to lay them right on top there. Reach down in there and get some of that Parmesan sauce and everything. Put that right on top. And me, myself, and I, there's two things I love in this world. It's Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese, shrimp, garlic, two things. That's more than two things. But as you can see, that's pretty good. God bless you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Countryman out.